What's up, YouTube? I'll see you soon. Three, 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 nine here. Coming at you with a review of the Buck Vantage Force. So, uh, overall, I really love this knife. I like it better than the review I did of the Kershaw. I like it better than that. Um, it's an awesome knife. I kind of wish it had stainless steel. This is super smooth. I kind of wish it had stainless steel, though. I don't know. It's anodized black. Um, it has a flip thing. It's not assisted opening. Let's see, you can see. It won't even flip all the way. You have to kind of fling it a little bit. But you can flip it really easily open this way with your finger. I'll go and go slow. Um, it is, let's see, crap. Sorry about that. I just knocked my <laughs> tape measure off the table that I'm doing the review on. Um, the overall length is, let's see, um, it's about seven and a half inches overall. And, um, blade length. It's three, it's three inch blade. And then, closed. It is four and a half inches. Um, it has a, where's my, yeah, here it goes. It has the um, buck knives like imprinted on this. It's like imprinted on this plastic. And this is a survival knife. That's where they put it on their website as. <coughs> That's how they put it on their website as. Um, and this is like an ABS. It's a really strong plastic. It's really sturdy. It doesn't feel cheap at all. And it has this nice. It's kind of smooth though. It doesn't have a lot of grip. Then. Um, it has these jimping along right here, and it just barely comes above the knife, if you can see that. And it works, it doesn't really work, it doesn't really do anything to help keep your hand from slipping off. Tip up carry. Here, let's take a look at the, um, it has a, is it focus? Ugh, one second. Let me see if I can get this. There we go. Has like a buck anvil. It has an anvil on it with a B in it for buck. For buck knives. Um, and then it has a skeletonized um, clip. And it attaches at the top so it's a complete... Um, so when you carry it, you can't see the knife at all. It, it's, you can't see it. Um, and then, what else? The liner lock is super bulky. I feel really secure with this liner lock. It's really bulky. Um, as you can see, it's, it's really substantial. Um, then, what else? Right here it is... 845C USA has that, and then it has the buck. Um, it says buck right there. Um, it's half serrated, and then half um, plain edge. Has the opening hole right here. It's an oval, like most bucks, not like a spider co, which is a circle. Um, what else about this knife? So it's sixty-five dollars. No, sixty-five dollars. And the um, I believe the steel is what is it? It's um, four twenty um, H eight eight like H C I think. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. 
forge on it, and it's, so it's pretty soft, but you can sharpen it really easily. That's why it's a survival knife, because you can sharpen it so easily. Um, there's jumping on the blade. I mean, it works okay. It's not the best. Um, you can see the liner lock comes out. Comes out right here. So it's not like, um, yeah. Then, what else? It feels, I wish this handle was a little bit bigger. But it feels all right in the hand. It feels pretty good. Your your fingers the um the jumping kind of far off. Your fingers don't really reach it when you're on it. You kind of have your finger right here, and it doesn't really quite reach to it. I but I have um 14 year old hands, so I don't really know. Adult hands would probably reach. Um, the top of the knife is. the ridge is like kind of curved which is really focus not focusing stupid camera um yeah so i think that's pretty much it leave comments below if you want me to answer any further questions of yours um Alright, thanks for watching, subscribe and like, um, bye.